Hi, I'm Rashonda, and so I'm going to be doing a video about a bunch of requests and questions and stuff in one video. Okay, so, so our first one is, hey, I have CP and autism. Feel free to ask questions about me. So I had to learn about this stuff in my course, obviously, since a community support worker works with people with things along that line. So thanks for sharing, and I'm guessing you're high functioning judging by this message. Okay, so the next one is, hi, I have two fun questions for after watching your question and answer video about you being a hit woman. Imagine your gun is running out of bullets and you start fighting with your target, wrestling on the ground and somehow his head is caught between your thighs. Would you choke him to death with your thighs or would you shy away from it? I don't even know if I'd be able to choke someone to death with my thighs, <laughs> so I probably wouldn't be able to. So, but I guess I'd try. And then, two, do you think you could choke a grown man to death with your thighs? Um, no, I don't think so, but I mean, maybe if I was a hit woman, I'd be more trained in that kind of stuff. And then, if I was a hit woman, thinking in that way, so I would want to choke him to death with my thighs, I guess. And I probably would be able to, too, somehow. I'm guessing. <laughs> Okay, so the next one is, hey, I hope everything's going good on your end. Thank you. So you made some real good videos on circumcision. I always wondered what girls thought about it, and it's cool to know that there's some that, like, intact penises, lol. I'm intact. Well, at least I got two girls' opinion on the subject. Lol. But anyhow. Okay, well, thanks for sharing. So then he says, hey, Rashonda, I noticed on one of your videos that you like the G-string more than the actual thong type of underwear. That's another thing I was always curious about too. Is the thinner string more comfortable than the thicker string? Um, yeah, I think so. <laughs> well, have a good day. Oh, one more thing. I also want to see them in Canada. Well, at least I think you do because of the name Canadian Girls Talk. I've been wanting to go over there for so long though. Oh, well, I live in Houston, Texas. But just reply back when you get the chance if you want. Thanks. Okay, so yeah, I do live in Canada. I live in British Columbia. And good assumption. Ew, that's Cameron's nasty cough. Ew. And then he says, by the way, I like your pictures in the background of your profile. I have one also. Thank you. And yeah, Cameron's been really sick for like the past week. Gross. His cough is like terrible. He thinks it's funny to not cover his mouth too or something because he has issues covering his mouth, which is also gross. Uh uh uh, you cover your mouth when you have a cough. Okay, and then the last one is please reply. Earlier I sent you an email and said I was 6 foot and 160 pounds, 6 inches hard and about 6 inches around. I wasn't sure, so I measured, and I'm 6 and a quarter inches long, hard and five and a half inches around. My ex-girlfriend says I'm too small. What's your honest opinion? Do you think it's too small? Can you please send me an email reply? Or if you do a video response, could you also tell us what is a good size that you would enjoy? I'm 18 years old and I'm not, so I'm not an old creepy fat guy, but please reply. Thanks, love your videos and honestly, you're pretty cute by the way. Okay, well, thank you. And so, Any girl who says that that's too small, unless we close like a KFC bucket or something, like pretty loose because, I mean, that's a pretty big girth and six inches is average length, so that's a good size. And I'm not going to share what size I would enjoy because that's too personal. So, so yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.